is really hard to lay face. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of our seniors, unbelievably. Um, absolutely love this atmosphere and, and thankful for our fans and everything they gave us all year long. But I, I'm just so grateful for our senior class. They were so committed and loyal and dedicated to this program and really set the standard, um, set a very, very high bar and left a lasting legacy and I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, you're, everyone's always disappointed with a loss. I mean, there's one team in the country that ends with a win. Um, and we had very, very high expectations. And you always want to repeat and go further than you did before. But I can't tell you how, how hard they worked to get to the point. I mean, one of 32 teams left in the country out of 300 Division I softball programs. Um, that's not easy to do. And it's really, really tough to win. And... We didn't get the offensive production, but I mean, everything that they gave, their effort, their concentration, their loyalty, their hard work, I, you can't replace that. Um, so yeah, it's disappointed that we didn't go further. I mean, we always want to play tomorrow and we want to continue our season as long as we possibly can. So the loss hurts, but their commitment to this program and to Mizzou, you can't replace. And there's no, no score on the scoreboard that can tell you their commitment to this program. I mean, it's sad. I mean, I know it's kind of a boring word to describe it as, but that's kind of how it is. I mean, we put our bl literal blood, sweat, and tears into this game, and it's just like it ended that quickly. So it's like you're sad and you, you're you kind of numb to it at this point, but I think it'll start kind of hitting us in a little bit. So sad. I know you said before this class is a legacy class. Your legacy, but, you know, what would you like to say maybe your legacy is just kind of what you want to say to this year's class? I mean, honestly, just how hard we worked. Like, I know Coach just said it, but we really did. We gave it all we had. Like, we are, we are beaten up a little bit. Um, so I just think the way that – we left it all all out on the field every single game. I think that's what we want to just continue to see happening. You know what I can't be more proud of is you have a new coaching staff come in and takes over a program that was under a lot of turmoil. And this group of senior class stayed here. Um, we have were obviously that, that came in and Cassidy Shomo who came in, but none of them left and they're so unbelievably committed and they bought into what we were trying to do and that's the legacy and you look at college athletics nowadays and the transfer portal and there's probably a thousand softball players in the transfer portal right now and our kids stayed home and i think that's the legacy that everybody around the country wants to know how you get to that point um, because they can't keep their keep their kids home and they have committed to every single thing that we have asked of them and then some and they've set their standards for themselves. And as a coach, I can't be more proud of what they've done and how tough it is to be a Division One athlete right now. I mean, they, they set the standard, um, you know, their loyalty and all the way through, not only just their work ethic, but in really truly understanding what it means to be a, a collegiate athlete and to believe in what you're trying to do. And I think the hardest thing about women's athletics in general is very, very few can go on and make a professional career about it and do it for as long as they want to do it. Their collegiate experience ends in the blink of an eye and their, their athletic experience ends in the blink of an eye. And that's sometimes one of the hardest things for these athletes to be able to adjust to. All she's ever known her entire life is how to play softball and go to school. And then all of a sudden you take away a huge part of her life and now she's gonna have to adjust in the real world without the sport that she loves. And that's, that's what's very, very special about women's athletics and sets us apart from a lot of our male counterparts because they can continue on and play their sport that they love for as long as they want to. You know, and K 
Kara Daly is as good as she is right now as a freshman because of this person right here. And Kara is going to be a phenomenal player for us in her entire career because of her. And I know Kara is the first one to say it, that I'm as good as I am right now because of Kim Wirt and her mentoring and her leadership. And that's going to be continue to pass down. And when Kara Daly's a senior, she's going to pass it down to some little snot-nosed freshman to do the same exact thing. And that legacy lives on for 8, 10, 12 years, as long as those stories continue to be told and the standards are continue to be upheld. But the future is exciting because of our senior class and the work ethic that they instilled within this program that the next year's class is going to want to come back and make those seniors proud. And that's the legacy that we want to continue to instill in our players as they come through. I mean, you could talk about that a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we were pressing a little bit. Like, a lot of, like, we're an older lineup. Like, we knew this could have been our last game. So it's like, that's always in the back of your mind. You you don't want it to be, but that's kind of, it's kind of how it is in a tournament like this. So I would say we were pressing a little bit. I think we started to have better at bats as the game went on. But at that point, it was just kind of too late because we were getting hard hits. We were hitting the ball a lot harder than we have been all weekend, but it was almost too late at that point. We had fun. I mean, I love these people. Like, I've made some of my best friends here, and like, I know like they will literally always be in my life. So it's like, it's not. It has nothing to do with softball. And I thought it would honestly coming in. I was like, oh, I'll remember softball for the rest of my life. But it's like, no, I'll remember the people and like the memories we've had. Yeah, I I don't know. I won't let them take me. I wouldn't let them take me to the doctor until I was done. I said I don't want to know what's going on. Because if I know, then like I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know. So we'll find out here in a little bit. Um, but I've been better. We'll put it that way. So yeah, we're. She always calls me a linebacker who's been in the league for 15 years. So they've heard it. Yeah, I know. So, so you think I don't know, but I know. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at. You know, and that's and that's part of the legacy. I mean, you look at what Kim Word is doing every single day, and she probably struggles getting out of bed, and. You can watch when she's running down first baseline. It probably hurts every single step and what Cassidy Shomo is going through. Um, you know, that's all part of it. That's the toughness and that's their, their loyalty and their commitment to this program to do everything they possibly can for their teammates. What kind of guy you this prayed. I prayed a lot, actually. Uh, I just, I cried. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I cried a little bit, but I looked around me and I knew I, I had to do it. That's kind of what it came down to. Like she just said it. I knew I needed to be out there for my team, so I did what I could. And no, I didn't get on base a lot this weekend, but I I was swinging. I was swinging as hard as I could. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean she she threw great. She's tough as nails. Um, she is such a, a competitor. I'm thankful that we get her for a couple more years. Um, but I mean, she I'm. She is one that I will scream from the rooftops that you do not have to throw 68 to 72 to pitch at this level. She's 59 to 63. Um, I saw on the radar a couple yesterday that she was 64, 65, but she lives around 60 miles an hour. And you don't have to be a flamethrower to be successful. And she has perfected the art of pitching. She knows how to manipulate the ball. She has unbelievable control but it's her competitiveness and her sure will that makes her so successful. This is their home. They're always welcome back. And I want them to feel comfortable coming back and, and realize that it's always their team. So next year, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that they want to look at this program and that this is their home. Very rarely, very, very rarely. And th that's the same message that I want the freshmen to understand that you can never ever look and say, well, next year, it's the people that you're surrounded by right now. And I, that's where I couldn't be more proud of the staff and our players and how they truly are a family. And it's very rare to have 27 females, <laughs> ages 18 to 23 on the same page. 
and they've committed themselves to this program and I couldn't be more proud of them. Thank you. Thank you for your coverage.